Welcome back to our channel. If you're like me and you did a test for radon and the levels are through the roof, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install your own radon fan and not pay the big companies to come in and do it for you. So you're at the right place and at the right time. Do you want to have your fan outside like most people do because that's the cheapest route or would you like to have it hidden and have it in your attic and nobody even knows you have a fan when you walk around your house I decided that I wanted mine hidden away and it only cost just a few dollars for punching holes in your ceiling and your floor so let's get started here I'll show you how easy it is. Basically, you want to pick any place in your basement. And, and I worried, like, am I going to get enough flow out from underneath? So basically, your floor, will it be any cracks in your concrete? Now, I don't have any cracks in the concrete here. But anywhere there's concrete or cracks in the floor, you'll want to seal those off. And I decided I want to punch a hole which is right here in the concrete. I took a drill, a hammer drill, and drilled a few holes around the circle, like maybe half inch holes, and then used a sledgehammer and punched the hole out. And then I, I took my hands and dug out all the, some stones. I, took, I dug out roughly about two, three, four gallons worth of crushed stone out from underneath, but it's not necessary. You don't really have to do that. And then I pushed a pipe down in the concrete. And then I bought this uh, self-leveling uh, sealant. I'll put a link in the description below to show you exactly what I used. And I run that pipe up and then I run an elbow and, and then run it up through, up through the floor. Uh, now I have just I have shelves here, so I have it run up through all the shelves, and but it's if you want to run it up along a wall, so it's kind of hidden. That's a great way of of doing it. Okay, I come up through that shelf, and then what I did is I went ahead and stuck this sticker on after it's finished, and you can see there's the as you can see there's the date I put it in, so it was January 2014 and you can see what the rating was. So I run it up through, and you can see here in the next shelf I had, I went ahead and drilled a little hole and and put this and screwed, screwed this in the top here. And I guess that's the only screw that's in there, it's holding it. And basically how this worked, this is, this is a visual to show you if the fan's not working of course now I can hear it you probably can't hear it in this video but I can hear a little bit of a faint hum and basically what's going to happen is this this is the this is the end where the air goes in and with this being if it's working correctly the air is pulling that fans pulling the air up out of the floor and it's coming up through and it's going to, when it, when it's suction up, it's going to pull air through here too. And this is the way to measure. I'm not sure exactly what these numbers mean, but basically the air is going to pull this up and you can see that it's reading right there about 0.4. And as long as it has a little bit of a suction there, then you know it's working. I'm gonna run it up through, and then I, I added another piece. Now you can get all different lengths or what have you. And so I come up through this top shelf, and you can see the heat duct, the HVAC system right here. And you'll notice why, why do I have it split it off? Well, the reason I did that, and you can do the same if you'd like, if you're extremely large house uh, our first floor is 1,000 square feet so in our basement is about the same 
and I put that there just in case this pipe didn't draw enough out of the basement out of the didn't draw enough out of the floor underneath to bring the levels down so I put that split there that way I can run it down along underneath this this HVAC system to kind of hide it in the basement and then run it down into the floor or the other end of the house but it turns out that I didn't need that so anyhow I run this up this way and then went up through the floor and you're probably wondering why I run it across over top of the HVAC and that's because I want to run it up through a closet and now we'll go upstairs and take a look at that as you saw down below how the pipe went up through the ceiling and up around the HVAC this is a closet this walk-in closet in our in-law suite so I'll show you what it looks like inside and as well as we went into this walk-in closet of course I have some racks on the right side or on the left side here but I just basically came up through the floor drilled a pulled the carpet back and drilled a hole through the floor and run the pipe up through it and put a connection so right now we're probably from the bottom to here is about nine ten nine ten feet and follow this up of course here's the light switch and I just drilled a hole I just took a, a regular drill bit and just drilled holes to get, get me started and then I used a dr drywall saw and just a hand saw and cut cut the hole around and then when I pushed the pipe up through there I just put caulking in there to fill in the in around the pipe so see how nice that fits in here doesn't this look better to see this in a closet than going up outside your house and putting a fan outside now we'll run up into the attic and I'll show you how it looks like up in the attic and as you saw in the first floor come up through the ceiling I just went ahead and just just cut a hole in here maybe a little bit bigger actually a good bit bigger than what it needed to be and then I run this pipe up and you can see this lip on here that went over the edge of the fan and then I put this plate down here to kind of hold it in place you, that's not really necessary and then inside my attic here on the wall I found the stud and put these boards here the screw here and then I screwed the fan into that and then I went to up in the ceiling or up in the roof and then I had a friend of mine uh, pull the shingles away up top first and then I used a little saber saw and cut the hole out and then I pushed this pipe right up through here and then connected it right here and this made it a little easier using a boot right here for this that way it's easier to fit on uh, so that took care of that and then the fan this fan has been running uh, I think since 2014 is when I put this fan in so this fan has been running nine years and then all I did was just go ahead and just I run a, a receptacle right here from the lights up above and then I can plug it in and so like I said this fan has been running for nine years non-stop it's never been shut off only when the power goes out which is very seldom and then and it depends on whether your attic's heated or not as you can see here in our attic I put uh, two inch foam insulation in here so it's this room's not heated per se but it the reason why I put this uh, I bought this sticky side on one side and wrapped it around here you can kind of see a little bit how how it's a little sticky on the side I wrapped it around and stuck it stuck it on there and what this is for is for those houses that their attic is not heated this isn't put on the the moisture in the air that's being pulled up out of the basement 
under the floor will come up in here and it's kind of warm I would say 60 degrees or so and come up here in the winter time and hit this cold air maybe it's 20 below here and then it would get condensation on here and run down and then eventually it could create mold so that's the reason for that that's what it looks like so go ahead and if this video content was good for you and you learned something just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and and please ask questions if you uh, are unsure of something I wasn't doing YouTube videos back when I put this fan in but and I noticed that there was not much content out there to research to figure out how easy it really is to do so until the next time have a good one